Just the in question time. is in two parts. The first part is how can you help a non-Muslim that goes through depression and um, does reading the Quran in Arabic cure illness or do you can you also read it in another language or to you know get over depression? I heard the second part. Did you, did any of you hear yes, the first? Yes, um, I heard the first. Mashallah. <laughs> No, 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 no. Usually I don't hear the first parts, but I actually got it. Um, how do we help non-Muslims? Yeah. Yeah. How do we help a non-Muslim to get over or get through depression? Tell them about Allah and the greatness of Allah. Really. Tell them about Allah. Tell them how beautiful Allah is. Tell them how loving Allah is. Tell them how generous Allah Azza wa Jal is. Tell them about the unlimited bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers us with every single day. Connect people to their Lord. You know, this, this, is, this is a genuine matter. Connect people to Allah. This is something that many of us have a lot of problems with. Many of us in our da'wah, even towards Muslims, we have a very, very big disease that we connect people to actions and we connect people to people and we connect people to the houses of Allah and the masjids and this is wrong. Connect people to Allah. Don't connect people to the speaker. Don't connect people to conferences. Don't connect people to the Quran. Don't connect people to Salah. You connect people to Allah through Salah. To Allah through Quran. To Allah through lectures. To Allah through conferences. But talk to people about Allah. Allah is everything. Solution to all your problems. Allah. Yeah, but he's not Muslim. Yeah, tell them about Allah. <laughs>